Is cricket? Is that like the one with the bug? Mm-hmm. Oh my fucking god, Jesse! You just eat cricket. I do not have the fucking patience. Someone, it's, it's someone, where people competitively someone watch. Someone put a little. Time. Someone put like a uh, what is, what's the phrase? A, a pickle in Jesse's pants. <laughs> what? I've never heard that. You know, you that phrase. That You're wrong. saying either that Jesse is erect or that he shit himself. That classic, that classic <laughs> thing. Jesse's one of the pickle boys. <laughs> You know, when you're up to mischief and your your grandma's like, oh, look at you, you got a little pickle in your pants. Whoa. No, no, John, that is not a thing that has ever existed. You just made that up. <laughs> John, 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 did your grandma hit on you? Welcome to Bracket, the only show where we take a bunch of shit and face it up against another bunch of shit to see what the best shit really is. I'm your host, Cullen Jennings, and joining me today is John Abbott. Hey, I'm John. I'm a, I'm a big buff super stud. I'm not. I'm sorry. I lied. <laughs> and don't forget about Jesse Knowles. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm Jesse, and uh, the only big buff super stud around here is... Well, and Emmy-nominated creator Pickle in My Pants, Greg L. Mercer. Hi, I'm Greg L. Mercer. Pickle in My Pants is a thing Jesse said before the show. I don't... <laughs> I don't want it to sound like that's just something Colin made up on the spot. No, well, okay, that. John, John, John's the one who said it. I don't know really. if I'm going to use it as the cold open or not. Maybe people already know. I don't know. Too bad. Uh, and joining us this week, we have our special friend of the show, Dan McKinney. Hey, guys. Uh, I just wanted to open up with a little call to action for all the listeners. Um, our good friend, uh, Danny yeah, Fernandez, yeah. really, really loves Tom Brady. Um, and now that Tom Brady is free once again from the iron tyranny of Roger Goodell, uh, if you could all just send a photo of Tom Brady to Miss Danny Fernandez on Twitter, that she would love it. We'd all love it. It would just be a really, really great thing just to kick off this episode man really sad the mafia <laughs> broke brady's knees that is just tragic <laughs> that's well you you won't hear it too often guys but that's sports talk on bracket and <laughs> yeah for, for that reason it. for that reason alone we're doing best 16 sports so right away in round one in group a we got football versus track and field and group b we've got pro wrestling versus moba and group c we've got soccer versus rugby and in group d we've got hockey versus motorsports and group e we got baseball slash softball versus lacrosse and group f we've got mma versus tennis and in group g we've got ba basketball versus cricket and in group h boxing versus golf so right away round one group a football versus track and field who cares to take a stab at it uh track and field the only married sport on this bracket this episode's man. gonna be good jesse got a goof in that early this episode's gonna rule jesse, jesse's on fire right now what did i tell y'all about jesse <laughs> Told us John, I don't appreciate. <laughs> uh, uh, both these, both these, you got to run. Both mm -hmm. these, you got to move from a field. You got to move from one point to another point. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, John, I field. think you'll find that running factors into many of these sports. <laughs> well, uh, here's the thing. Here's my stance on running. I'm against it. Okay, fair uh, enough. So, so, uh, so in track and field, yeah, but we we basically put this together as like a big group of stuff. So we have, you know, like. Uh, I guess cross country running, uh, track, uh, like track running, shot uh, put, shot put, joust, discus. yeah, javel, uh, long jump, all that kind of stuff. Did but you say jousting honest, is in there? If jousting's in there, that might jousting, change my sure, verb. Sure, uh, not regular really? jousting. Hmm. I don't not think jousting that. goes in there. Uh, <laughs> no, I love when Usain Bolt gets on the horse, right, with the javelin. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm not even going to hesitate on this. This is a football vote. It's America's pastime. Everyone says baseball is. No one watches baseball anymore. It's football. There's a lot of cool stuff in track and field. There's pole vaulting. There's javelin. I was going to say long jump, but long jump is not like really cool. Marathon, baton passing, triathlon oh, God. Stuff. You guys are breaking it even yeah. down worse. So uh, the, marathon, biathlon, tri running, passing stuff. Yeah. Right? The yeah. one. Okay. I'm, football. I, I'm Lance, a football vote, Lance, but the Lance one thing. Neilman Armstronger 
The uh, one I'm a football vote, but the one thing I'll say for track and field is the high jump is super interesting to me because even after like centuries of doing it, there's still no definite best way of doing the high jump. Uh, well, that's a lot of the Olympic based stuff. I know. I mean, that's the thing is that every like couple decades or so, someone comes along and goes, oh, hey, guess what? Here's a scientifically better way to do this thing. Um, but I'm definitely a football vote. I think football, American football is super awesome. Uh, the culture is is very obnoxious but the idea of it when you break it down into game design is super interesting it's you know you you have to build a team of a bunch of guys with different stats so i'm always team sports are always very interesting to me because you have to rely on this whole group as opposed to just one person's individual strengths um and then the fact that you have coaches who are sort of the actual ones playing the sport as opposed to the players on the field is also something that's really interesting to me so so. they're the active chess player exactly yeah so i'm a football vote um yeah i mean th- there's not out, outside of like countries there's not really a lot like you can vote for with track and field I mean, or like individual people there's no teams is what i'm trying to say right uh, there i mean there's like baton teams again but again that's also football you don't yeah. vote for people in football though yeah you don't vote for football. You don't uh, elect players. Pretty much what you Greg said. Players pretty much and field? Like, yeah, like football. <laughs> it's a, it's an interesting sport uh, with a with a with a with a culture that especially rubs me the wrong way. But I have to vote football just because it's a more it's it's more fun to play and it's more fun to watch. Yeah, well, ch- chalk me up for a track and field vote, I guess. I'm, I mean, I'm going to be a football vote as well. I will say track and field might be the only one on here that's like you like it is just pure. Are you strong enough? Are you built enough to do this? Like have right, you right. conditioned yourself in such a way better than everybody else who spent their entire lives conditioning themselves to jump really high? Sure. Of, yeah. of everything on this list, track and field probably measures one thing the most. Yeah, and, and you're stuck doing that one thing forever. So, but looks like football knocks out track and field four to one. We got pro wrestling versus MOBA. Um, uh, both of the people who are into these sports are like weirdly obsessed with it. <laughs> let's, ah! let's let's break it down. Pro wrestling, you watch it on the TV, uh, and men's in tiny underpants. Uh-huh. Right? Uh, you, yeah. MOBAs, you watch it on the computer with men's and tiny underpants. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, you, you, everyone MOBA. watching it is in tiny, tiny underpants at home. Yes. MOBA yeah. stands <laughs> for M- Multiplayer Online Battle Arena? Is that Correct. Right? Yes. Yeah. So MOBAs we're talking about fake. League of Legends, about Dota, about uh, Heroes, Heroes of, of the Storm, Storm, and a couple others that don't really matter. But they're, they're the. They're not the first esports, but they're definitely the most popular right now. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, An entirely uh, scripted. Yes. (laughs) Right. Much like Uh, pro wrestling, every MOBA tournament is decided in advance. I I like to think when I when I described pro wrestling, when people ask me, is it a sport? Uh, Both of these are both of these things are people are already rolling their eyes like these aren't sports. But I disagree completely. I think MOBAs have a reaction time base to them and some kind of memory base. That's the thing is that like... uh, like in the current scene of like Dota and stuff like that, like basically you kind of retire like at 25 at the latest because like your yeah. muscle reaction times are down. So yeah, low. I mean the the way that the ergonomics are sort of worked out, like you wear through the athletic muscles necessary to play a MOBA pretty quick. It is a for being something where you sit at a computer. It is a highly athletic sort of thing in a certain respect. Uh, when when pro wrestling though, uh, there's there's so much that goes into to an actual match that people think it's like this fully scripted out thing, but it's more calls and um, right at the moment kind it's of very thing. very improvisational. Everyone- Right. You know the ending or they know the ending when they go out there and they know they say, OK, you have you, this is hypothetically like a lot of different organizations are different uh, and there are botches. There are accidents. There are there, there's a lot more athleticism, I think, to to pro wrestling than people are that think they it's like, oh, it's just a big muscly man doing a flip. And I'm like, that's a 300 pound dude jumping off of a off of like seven feet of air flipping on something. No, that's terrifying. Is there Colin, is there drug testing in? In pro wrestling stuff? So years ago, there used to not be, and that was a big issue with steroids, and that's why a lot of wrestling, uh, old wrestlers are having 
to kind of get scrubbed. And then there's a big, uh, the Chris Benoit case, which I'm not going to get into it all here, is a very, very big reason why you should not do steroids ever. Um, but in WWE in like 2000, I want to say like right after Chris Benoit happened, they did mandatory drug testing. And lots of major wrestlers have been popped many, 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 many times and have been suspended from the road popped. and everything like that. So They're popped and so, they just like leave a small <laughs> residue. But I also think like... <laughs> they I, burst? I'm a pro wrestling vote on this. I get really? the mobile love. I think it's great. I, I, yeah, really, right? Wow. Uh, but the, the guys are, it's way much more of a sport to me and it's more of a spectator sport. I know that everyone's like, oh, I watch streams and oh, I went to this thing that had 100,000 people at it. WWE has WrestleMania. Uh, 100,000 is not, is not a real number. Colin, that's way too low. The numbers yeah. for well, well, no, numbers I, for the Dota stuff are insane. No, it's in the middle. I'm saying, no, in the, no, I'm talking about watching it live, like in the arena. I'm saying in, the, the, you can't fit a million people in an arena, guys. I'm sorry. That doesn't. That's not. Oh, real. watch me. Uh, there's I'm actually, really good in fact, at the one that they posted the other day, the the that last big tournament that just happened was 110,000. I think is what it was in the arena, which is already insane as it is. But uh, WrestleMania, sorry. So it's, it's you can tell me all day long that more people go to those events, but you are totally wrong because they're having four events a week at least with wrestling with uh, with with just WWE, not any other organization. Well, so. wrestling's wrestling's like different and. In a way because like it's easy to fall out of and jump back in at any time uh whereas mobas like yes it's easy to but like a lot of the fans who watch mobas like watch it religiously that that's all they do is what they is is how the, how much they'll watch that like, so so it's difficult to measure like how many wrestling fans there are versus how many moba fans there are and i tell you what like i'll turn on uh dota 2 or something and there's like 70 freaking characters to choose from and they all stack no, up differently like, against each other like over right. 100 there's in Dota. there's like a thousand whereas i turn on wrestling and i see two guys in a ring and they're just hitting each other and then maybe a third one shows up with a chair and i know what's he gonna do <laughs> he's gonna hit somebody with it and that's pretty much it what there's, is there's I, here's a question here's a very important question what is john cena's alt <laughs> Uh, you can't see it, so it doesn't matter. That's true. So he goes invisible <laughs> and uh, ganks. And uh, I, way back, I, I only asked about the drug testing stuff because they are starting to do drug testing yeah. stuff for uh, competitive like e Dota and League yeah, players. There's, and, there's yeah, even like Duty, especially. They, they have like a. I was reading a thing about they have like even a caffeine test like that yep. they're only supposed to ingest yep. to start. That's fucking insane to me. Well, but, the big thing they're coming after is Adderall. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which um, makes sense because it makes your, yeah, you know. Uh, it, I need mean. votes, but first, what MOBA and how good would he be? Which MOBA would Vince McMahon play? He'd probably play uh, Lee. Actually, no, I think I think he'd be he'd late to the play game. Years of the, yeah, I was going to say, Years of the Storm. He'd play Years of the Storm because it's, it, it would be an American based game. He would come, he would so, come into the MOBA scene about three or four years from now. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he'd be like, which one can I learn the easiest? And then he'll, he'll, yep. he'll, yeah, he'll yeah, play. You guys play Smite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm a MOBA vote. I need votes. Pro wrestling I am, as a sport. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm also a wrestling vote. It's so so MOBAs are like th there's a lot to appreciate with MOBAs and mm -hmm. and like the the amount of technical uh everything that you have to learn about it and like everything that people know and how to play like it's it's really it's easy to make fun of but it's a really impressive thing that's happening. But also for me as someone who doesn't like actively play sports, I don't get much out of playing them. When I'm watching them, uh it's it's just it's it's easier for me to jump into wrestling because also wrestling's easy to make fun of, but there's there's a lot of value in the fact that like you can it got it got me into it and and i went to wrestling like very much like there's no way i'm going to like this and like you come I, out of it thinking it's 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 contagious it's a contagious thing as, a, as an insert uh, real quick i know my vote's already pro wrestling but going to an event for a moba is a way different experience than going to an event for well, a pro yeah. wrestling thing and that's I, an I entertaining mean, so locked on fan base thing so this yes. is this is why i'm a moba vote to me a moba is a good way like my primary function when I think of a sport is to compare these two competitively. Like, how is this team against this team? And wrestling is far more collaborative about that. Like, it, it's dressed up in this idea of a big battle of, of wits and all these sorts of things. But it's very much like a freeform jazz where they have to play off of each other to accomplish a specific end that they're both working toward. Okay, sure. I mean, so that's why I'm inherently the fact that wrestling is scripted. Yeah, it's it's definitely less like competitive. 
repetitive. Uh, well, it's, that, I mean, it's not. I don't even care that yeah. it's scripted so much, just that it's it's less of a way to compare two entities on a level of skill. It's more sure. of a collaborative sort of thing. It's I'm gonna, wild. I'm gonna, this much time on the two joke entries, and I swear to God, like I'm going to like bash my head. <laughs> yeah, to talk I need more about mobas and wrestling. Like, my well, don't worry, y'all are gonna go with mobas, so it doesn't make a difference. John, Dan, it's okay. Uh, gut reaction: just either mobas or wrestling. Which community is more toxic? Oh boy. Oh mobas. Moba. Sorry. Moba. Sorry, it's not a chance. Look, I'm, I've met, I've met both of these. I've definitely met like both of these people, and like, yes, Mobas. Dan I'm, is a wrestling yeah. vote. John, where are you? God damn it! I have to break the tie, don't I? Nope, wrestling already won. Oh, good, thank God. I'll throw a vote towards Moba then. There it is. Pro wrestling knocks out Moba three to two. We got soccer versus rugby. Uh, so nope. Step up to the plate. You guys were like, oh, we got tons to say about rugby. Let's go. I I had a lot I, of I wait, I was mid sentence. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, you were taking your time though. Let's go. Knock it out of the park, man. Let me let oh me. Oh my Dan, where is this hostility coming from? I I so uh when I was in high school, I uh was part of a trip to Australia and New Zealand, and while there it, there was nothing on TV sports wise except for rugby. It was all it was there all anyone ever gave a shit about watching down there was rugby. And like and it was crazy to see them like once people who were there like knew you were American like talk to you about it because like they're like this is just like your football but way better way more intense way more extreme way more real and it from what I saw like it looked like sort of the same same kind of play of like you know you field two teams and and like tackling to get ball and control of it and everything and but they were wearing nothing they were like no pads no protection like it was just like tiny tight shirts and shorts and people were getting messed up out there and also like all the dudes were huge but huge in a way that was like just pure muscle like you see big football players and yeah. it's like there's a lot of just like it's just body mass it's just as much pounds as you can get on these guys these guys were like chiseled greek statues and it like and even you know i don't like sports now but as a high school kid i hated sports even more like i was like i didn't couldn't care less about them but like but seeing like that, I was like, "Wow!" I came out of there being like, "Geez, this is like so." Way John's more... a rugby vote because rugby guys are hot. Moving on, yeah, the soccer guys are really hot. John yeah. saw a bunch of hobbits play football, and he's a rugby vote. Yeah. Soccer, if you actually like watch soccer, it is super engaging. It's all fast fixed. Paced. It's all rigged. That's it's true. All rigged. Soccer's more scripted than pro wrestling. Yeah, at this <laughs> current moment, you're, not, you're not far off. Uh, but that's only in certain in certain, I guess, FIFA. leagues. Because you know, FIFA, yeah, yeah, men's FIFA is like, it meant, yeah, yeah the, the World Cup in general, like in the FIFA Cup, like those are the two most corrupted sports, period. And and you're looking at soccer, like the Premier League is fucking fun. Like I like watching Premier League games. And then the MLS is coming up and it's actually really fun. And I I, I really like soccer a lot. But, with you know, I, I had a lot of friends that played rugby. And so it's kind of hard for me to just kind of throw rugby to the side because because I think it's 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 kind of in the place that soccer was in America, like in the early '90s. Kind of like when I get to lacrosse, we'll bring up the same thing. Like it's an early '90s feel, like that yeah. this sport is like cool in the rest of the world, and it could be something here. And now soccer I, has done that. So I can't uh, remember. Is there? Is it just straight up like goals with a goalie in rugby? Does anybody know? There's no. There's no goalie. It's a team set, but you can have you can score a try, which is like a kick into the goalpost. So like you can score from outside, or you can score a touchdown. Pretty much. Here's here's the. Thing. Thing I was going to say about rugby, maybe no one in the world knows every rugby rule. Like, it is one of no, the most weirdly creepy. complicated sports. Well, okay, is. so you brought this up. There's two different leagues of rugby, like, that, that are, it's, it's like a, a rugby, when you say rugby, people ask you, like, it, are do you play uh, rugby league or do you play rugby union? And those are two different sets of rules right off the bat. And then each sect based off of that has its own defined rules by whatever, like, company you're in, basically. And mm. it's it gets pretty wild. Like so, some some companies just completely just are all over the place with it. So uh, all right, but I'm, I'm going to be a soccer vote because it's the beautiful game. But I will say rugby has probably the best sport word, which is scrum. Scrum feels scrum. good to say. Yeah, scrum is where the dudes lock onto each other and the ball's underneath, and they have to basically kick and kick until the ball comes out with somebody underneath and slides it back. And or back. until three of them are dead, in which case they unscrum. Yeah. I, I 
I don't want no scrums. Scrum deli umptious. Soccer is so much is the is so fast paced and it's strategic at the same time, constantly with you know player position, uh, the constant back and forth throughout throughout the whole game. The fact that there's no really stop time, they just add on extra time at the end, like however long we needed for fouls or penalties or injuries, like we're just gonna add on that time at the end. Just keep the ball moving. Go 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 go. It's fantastic fantastic to watch and like i kind of bandwagoned on uh because my girlfriend like got me into soccer with like the 2012 world cup i think something like that um whichever one was uh south africa but ever since i've just been it is amazing to watch soccer gotta be soccer don't you guys don't even know how to play rugby how do you play so so i have i have uh, a secret uh when i was (laughs) jesse is an (laughs) all-star rugby player (laughs) uh when when i was uh when i was in first grade maybe first grade second grade uh i i played soccer with a with a small league um and we we played competitively played a bunch of different games um and i don't remember much i remember at one point we were a really really great team um at one of the years i I played it for two years and uh, i also remember that um i was (laughs) I was really, really bad at running, uh, and <laughs> at one point, at, at one goal, point, I was that kid. Well, no, at one point, <laughs> uh, at one point, I was that kid who would run halfway down the field and then watch the rest of the team run after the ball while I stood there. And so just they kinda... were a, you were a great team. Besides you, like, yes, yes, yes. Great team I was plus one. Very much, uh, probably the worst player on that team. I uh, need votes. Also worth noting. Uh, uh, one day I went to a soccer camp and a soccer ball hit me in the stomach and nearly gave me a concussion from the fall. That's not you. You don't get a concussion from getting hit in the stomach, Jeff. No, but from the, from the fall. <laughs> uh, I'm a soccer vote. I like rugby, but I'm a soccer vote. Jesse keeps his brain in his stomach. We just John, I that. need a vote. <laughs> <laughs> just as crazy. Um, uh, uh, I've had some um, weird experiences with soccer. I'm a soccer boat. I don't care. I mean, rugby sounds like a sport that bugbears would play, and soccer. Some people call it footy. So I'm I'm a rugby vote. I don't like feet. Good point. Good point. I'm a soccer vote. All right, soccer knocks out rugby four to one. We got hockey versus motorsports. I'm locking it in early. It's a hockey vote. You, it's people on the ice. It feels all cool in there. Is you get a little hot chocolate with your sweetheart while you watch dudes beat each other with sticks. I'm a hockey vote. Uh, I'm a man. Have you have, have you ever been to a hockey game? I've been to yes. probably four hockey games. Oh God, I don't Ooh. with your sweetheart and and hot chocolate. Okay, that's not the hockey yeah, games I've been to. Dog. Yeah, I've been <laughs> to very brutal. Last Loud, uh, people banging on glass, screaming, and lots of drunk people. Hockey games; those are the yeah. fun ones. Uh, no, it's super romantic. Not, it's not There's... that much different than a motorsports crowd either. So, yeah. <laughs> like those, uh, those fans. So, motorsports again, a, a decent sport with a very bad culture about it. Well, um, I'm, I... I'm. We're talking F1. We're talking NASCAR. We're talking, you know. See, I would say NASCAR has the like the more poison. Uh, yeah, of, it's got the sort of the, the, south. Yeah. South of yeah, America, yeah. but but yeah. I would say like you know it come from F one or you know because F one is a very awesome. rich person yeah, yeah. European yes, kind of sport. Yes, yeah, yes. um, and motorcycles too in general. So sure. like I. I I think I want to go motorsports, but I'm going to go hockey because I think it means more. And I got to touch the Stanley Cup a couple months ago at the NHL draft. So that was pretty cool. I'm, um, I'm going to lock in as a motorsport vote. Uh, love you, Dale. We miss you. <laughs> <laughs> My dad will be very proud to hear you number, say that, Dan. Number three on the number track. Three. Number one number on three, the heart. I think, it, I think it'd be a disgrace if we didn't vote number three. I, through. I had a family, a, me- a, a close family member say that Dale Earnhardt was like a dad to him. Yeah. So was was it he was dad to us all, really. Was it you? And did you say it here, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a motorsport vote because it's another thing where people think, oh, you just sit in a car and drive around. But it's again like a deceptively athletic kind of thing. Um, well, and, if you're talking to F1, like there's well, yeah. crazy decisions you have to make. And like there's a lot of strategy and like look at one of those steering wheels. They look like you're driving a mech. Uh, uh, a little thing about the F1 racers. There's a plank of wood underneath of every F1 racer that runs from the tip to the back. And if they take certain bumps and certain they, they know exactly how to drive each track. They know exactly where to mm-hmm. go. If they take certain bumps and nick that thing up they get disqualified like that's how precise it has to be yeah i got a plank of wood from the tip to the back 
He's talking yeah. about his uh, wooden maxi pad. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ! We're gonna have to cut that. I think. <laughs> I agree. Uh, Jesus, Greg! Oh my god! No, that's no. a switch and the point of uh, vote for Greg. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm I'm definitely a motorsports vote. I like that it's a thing where there's a clear, identifiable like a racer, but also he's very reliant on his team. There's a lot about motorsports that's very interesting to me. Um, it's down to Jesse. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, yeah, I'm... This Two is words, Jesse! I'm a motor- Two words, Jesse! Motorsports. Two words, Jesse! Mighty Ducks! <laughs> I've never Look. seen a Mighty Ducks movie. So, anyway, I yeah, I... I'm a motorsports vote. I, I, I screw this bracket. <laughs> Look, I'm f- I'm near Detroit. I've been to Red Wings games. Yeah. Hockey's not not something you want to go to. Uh, hockey is in a decent environment, but I would not go into the Red Wings. <laughs> yeah. but, they but, fucking uh, throw squid on the ice. It's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, motorsports knocks out hockey three to two. We got baseball, softball versus lacrosse. Baseball, I think, is probably the best sport. It is. To me, going to a baseball stadium is so nice. I I would go there and just sit and like, I if I didn't care about the teams, I just hang out. I uh, um, hey hey guys hey, uh, oh, what do you think they What do you think they call it a softball? That thing's not soft at all. <laughs> I, what uh, is, it actually is. Who wandered into the who wandered into the the Skype call just now? <laughs> <laughs> Joey from Full House. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Do <laughs> Popeye. Uh, uh, <laughs> Cut uh, it out. Like. I'm going to vote for lacrosse because when I was a little kid and I got signed up for T-ball by my parents, I remember uh, sitting out in the field, uh, sitting out in the field on the ground and making castles out of the dirt instead of playing. Uh, so just for that, yeah, I'm going to go yeah. lacrosse. John, T-ball ain't on this list. I know, but it's that's the that's the progenital or whatever <laughs> state. The progenitals? <laughs> the progenitals. Uh, <laughs> That's my new 80s cover band, the Progenitals. Um, uh, come out and see us this Friday at the Moose Lodge, 713. The, the pre-evolution uh, of, uh, of baseball. I, so here's the thing is I think – so baseball as a team sport is pretty incredible. Um, and, and Greg brought up earlier with, like, football, like, you have to, like, plan out every single person. There's rotations. There's yeah. setups, like – you know exactly not, how long a person can pitch like exa- exactly and i got really into baseball maybe i don't know if it was 10 years maybe it's like seven or eight years ago i really started paying attention to baseball now i'm a big fan i love baseball but uh the lacrosse to me seems more of a more of a you're gifted at this sport kind of thing like because i don't think everybody can go out there and play lacrosse um it, it's more of a precise game to me and it's fa- more, way more fast pace and it's like it's like it's kind of like hockey uh I, I there's no way i could catch that little ball in a little tiny net and then not get beat up i just time. like sports that involve people getting beat with sticks <laughs> you can't hit each other with sticks you cannot hit people in baseball with sticks Why? i know well you can throw them into the crowd and hit people which have been happening but like that's an accident can i tell you guys is it? this is not related to this episode but you remember that story sean baptiste told about getting beat up in high school with in the cake with the chicken wire sure. pushing up against his neck yeah. i had a nightmare about that the other day where like i was him oh, with God. the chicken that like so the beating people with sticks thing like and i'm thinking about high school i'm thinking about high school sports and i'm thinking about how nobody on lacrosse teams were really that nice to me but like baseball kids were pretty okay like they there was like an overlap with like track and field kids and baseball kids and those kids were pretty much like you know they were decent they were kind of dorky but they could run really good yeah <sighs> I'm a baseball vote. Yeah. I am also a baseball vote, as I've said. Uh, it, it was the first fantasy sport just because it's so, like, so math centric for being yes. such a physical thing. Like, it's the most stat lover kind of dream game possible. Well, baseball stat nerds are like the, yeah. like, like, it's the like, one to beat. It is, but it's also the one that stat people never want to talk to. Like, that's the, right. they like, you know, it's pretty wild. Like, I, you could just, say like hey how did david price do in this stadium and they can tell you if it's day or night and what the percentage is and when i i wrote for a thing for a little while and had to learn those stats and that shit was nuts to me so yeah i i mean that's that's the kind of stats they get into is like oh this guy's really good against left-handed pitchers at night when there's a guy on first and third 
<laughs> Only I'm during honestly, September. Hit me with a lacrosse stick. <laughs> uh, Jesse, I think it's down to you. Is it really down to me? I think. I don't, I don't think it's um, down to I think baseball I don't, Baseball may have won. Wait, who voted what? I voted lacrosse. I voted baseball. Colin voted baseball. Dan, I'm I'm gonna vote baseball because there's not much better than like a summer night with like a minor league game. Yep. And yeah. like, and you're just uh, having like a hot dog in the stands of your hometown. Yeah, right. How I'll, good is I'll the movie back, Sandlot? People with sticks. There's no Sandlot for lacrosse, John. Yet. Yeah. Yet. Uh, the PTA I, is serving you I slices of be, Domino's. I guess I'll be a baseball vote. Why not? There it is. Baseball softball knocks out lacrosse four to one. We got MMA versus tennis. Basically, I'm, the same I'm thing. coming in as a tennis vote. Sounds great. That ball bouncing on the court, hitting those rackets. People going ah, ooh, ah, ooh, back and forth. Yeah, tennis. Uh, uh, except for maybe baseball. You don't have time to say ah, ooh in MMA because you're getting the <laughs> shit beat out of you. Not many people know part. this, but MMA actually stands for muscle man action. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, but if you're vote like the two biggest women in sports right now are Ronda Rousey and Serena Williams, and that's what I'm thinking yeah. of this bracket specifically right here. And I'm sorry, Serena, but Ronda Rousey is the most badass female in the planet, and I just love her to death. And she makes me want to watch UFC again and care. And how long has how long has Ronda Rousey been doing it? Like, I mean, she's been she fighting been for a few years, but like okay. I think she's yeah. But I mean, the the the, the Williams sisters have been playing forever. Like, yeah, but but again, I, as long I as just, I can think of, I, there's not a more dominant force in it and, and other than Ronda Rousey, and she, she she should she wants to play Captain Marvel. So sorry, that's a point for me. So uh, I think uh, actually I think I might be a tennis vote because Ronda Rousey was in the Entourage movie. Uh, Ronda Rousey was also in uh, uh, Furious 7, Greg. Oh, well, you know what? That's true. (laughs) (laughs) Come back to me. Awesome. Give give me a call when there's a Mario MMA. Yeah, John John and his sound effects got me thinking of Mario Tennis, and I'm I'm into it. (laughs) Ha, who, why, ho. Yeah, that's Mario. Other than baseball, tennis probably does have the best sounds. You're right. Sorry, I'm cracking up real bad at the idea of Mario making those noises. This is an arm Mario MMA game. Yeah, Mario MMA. See, Mario MMA would be the best opportunity to show off Mario's tribal tat again. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Bowser maybe has an advantage in MMA though. That's that's a good point. Does or Mario shave not. his head for that? Well, Mario's, Mario's bald head for that game. It, maybe I don't know. He's probably got it's, some branding deal with like Monster Energy Drink. Is that who's? Is that? Uh, UFC banned all. Uh, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Although I love the idea of a Monster M instead of the Mario M on his head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Uh, uh, where are votes? Where are votes? Uh, I'm an MMA vote, hands down. Ron I'm a tennis Rousey. vote. I'm an MMA vote. I'm a tennis yeah. vote. Oh, when tennis Rousey was almost even. not even on this list for I'm a little while. Is Ronda Rousey not like boxing? No, she's also she's MMA. No, huh? she's an MMA fighter, and oh. and she's a Pokemon fanatic. That's and uh, so sorry. Uh, tennis is like really fun to play, though. I mean, MMA is not fun to play. <laughs> I, would, I mean, the, sort you know, of the no. only thing holding me back from being a tennis vote because I guess I'm the tiebreaker right now. Tennis is really a rich person sport for some reason. It is. You oh. have to have money Come to play on. tennis you have no that is a true Colin, we have a tennis court at our it, shitty apartment right now but we are not competing no one's coming to watch us play tennis <laughs> right no you're just gonna go play tennis you're supposed to just go to go have fun with your friends at the high school g- like let tennis me ask court. you this does tennis have an open like golf does where anyone can come in and play you and have to be you have to get in like qualify uh, through some tournament before that then you have to get uh qualified. seinfeld tournament. doesn't have an mma episode I don't remember uh, time for having a tennis episode. I guess I don't watch them. Well, they're, they're also rich white people in New York. You're not breaking true. this easy. Like, okay, I does mean, MMA have a U.S. Open? Like, I mean, no, neither one does. Anybody just, can I'm, be an MMA fighter. I'm looking for anything to sway me to one side or the other, really. Okay, tennis is a hell of a lot of fun. You can cozy up with some hot chocolate and your loved one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You can't That's, take You know my... what? He's right. Uh, I just Mario I tennis. Know. Sorry, Wim- I- Wimbledon is of the two of them, I guess I would probably end up playing tennis, so I'm going to go tennis. There we go. Well, in an upset, uh, tennis Sorry. knocks out MMA 3-2. to two. 
We got basketball versus cricket. Uh, cricket, super huge sport everywhere in the world except America. Yep. And and uh, it's got the best names. You got the, the sticky wicket. Yeah. You're throwing a wooden ball at a guy's unprotected shins at a billion miles per hour. Well, and there's I like, don't know why we don't like cricket more. It is because a, it's a, a thousand stupid rules. That's the yeah. problem. Well, that and cricket. games can go for like friggin' hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just a baseball game that can go in extra innings. It can seriously go for days at times. Yeah. Like, yeah, and they resume play. Uh, is cricket the one where you hit the ball on the ground through like the hoops, or is it like the one where you ride the horse back? And no you... horse. That's that's polo. polo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and the one you're thinking is croquet. Uh, yeah. So I don't know what cricket is. Cricket, I guess. So cricket, cricket they, is a they flat set up bat. like they yeah. set up like three like sticks and and yeah and it's a flat bat. It's the, it's the thing that Sean uses in Shaun of the Dead to beat zombies' heads in. It's a yeah, cricket that, bat. Um, cricket is a bat and ball game played between two teams of eleven players each on a field at the center of which. It's a rectangular 22-yard long pitch. Each team takes its turn to bat, attempting to score runs while the other team fields. Each turn is known as innings. Uh, oh, God, there's a lot of fucking rules here. Yeah, yeah, you get, yeah don't is, walk down that road, Greg. Cricket is, is kind of hilarious to... I, I kind of like it in, in the idea that, like, I can watch cricket and, like, have absolutely no idea what the fuck is going on at any point in the game. Sure. It's I have the, no it's the closest idea. thing we've got to, like, in America, it's the closest thing we've got to, like, a like an alien in sport like sometimes it feels like calvin ball yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk <laughs> about how much basketball rules because basketball uh, rules basketball is is really badass uh it, it through college through women's through men's like it, it's still fun like just to watch and i I can even watch it in a high school auditorium. Like it, it's still like a really fun experience just to go and feel like the energy in a basketball game. It's oh, super easy to pick up. It's super like you can you, you assuming know. it's five on five. You can either have a team that functions as one supreme organism, or you can have one guy who's a total standout. Like yeah, it, or, there's so much in basketball. Here's the, also with basketball versus cricket. Like you can play cricket for years and be like, I'm okay at cricket. You can play basketball. <laughs> Basketball right away and know for a fact if you are good at basketball. <laughs> yeah. There is no, there's no like, well, he's all right. Uh, those guys play college and then they never play again. So basketball is my vote. I like cricket. Yeah. I think cricket's wild. And I love watching the ESPN coverage every year when they do it during the Cricket World Series. Uh, and, but there's just kind of nowhere close to me on basketball's level of fun. I mean, I know it's discouraged on a professional level, but the dunk is one of the most satisfying things in all of sports, I think. Oh, no, the dunk is encouraged now, man. It's, uh, it's, it's, oh, you it's say way, that. But wait till you see the, 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 the snivelly hoot toot <laughs> in cricket. <laughs> That's you haven't true. literally haven't seen, seen the snivelly snivel hoot toot. You yeah. open it in a nature box, John? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I need votes. Uh, I, I I am a basketball vote as well. Just no, just because no. like uh, working in TV, I've I've run like I've we've aired live basketball games, uh, but basketball is relatively painless. Uh, I imagine running a live cricket game would be a, a nightmare scenario from which there is no awakening. Uh, I'll I'll give one to old cricket then. I, I'll be I'm gonna go with the basketball side of things. I don't know much about like actual plays. I don't know much about teams. I don't know anything like that. But I do know that if you get the GameCube version of NBA Hoops <laughs> v- Volume 3, you can play as Mario, Luigi, Is that the one that also has Final Fantasy characters in it? No, that's Mario Hoops 3-on-3 three three for the okay. DS. That's not a good game, but NBA Hoops yeah. with Mario, Peach, and Luigi is top-notch. Does you do alley oops and stuff. I don't know if it's legit, but I'll tell I you like this. It. Basketball does have some of the best video games. There's NBA yeah. Jam, NBA Street, NBA Hoops, that damn Charles Barkley game. Charles um, Barkley shut up and jam. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Space Jam. Yeah, Space it's, it's Jam. mostly because it's See, a relatively simple Okay, we're going to bring up sport. Space Jam. No, you hey, your hey, votes because Space hey. Jam sucks. <laughs> Basketball knocks out cricket four to one. Uh, we got boxing versus golf. Same sport. Uh, <laughs> as, it can't be. You're, yeah. As Y'all, I saw Happy here, Gilmore. As everyone here knows, I am uh, New John, and New John is way into boxing, so I'm a boxing New John fan. has seen two boxing events ever. I and thought only for one sure of them you were going to say... New John loves to golf. Uh, uh, New John (laughs) was really fun enjoying boxing, though. I I kind of imagine knowing where this is going, but I'm going to come right out as as a golf vote. Um, I'm one of those people who, like, golf's one of those things that, like, I 
I sort of enjoy uh, in a in a golf. Golf's weird. It's like a it's it's a it's a slow and patient game. You get to drive uh, a car. A little, you get to little drive a car. car. You don't get to drive a car in boxing. Uh, that's well. illegal. What they say. Uh, um, but golf's like it, it's a very slow, patient game. It's like playing a golf game is a lot like the, it's the closest thing to a turn based sport. Well, uh, golf, you also don't really, you don't really have to worry about speed. You're just sort of out with your friends in like yeah. basically a forest that you rent for an hour. Golf, probably <laughs> one of the best sports to play and get drunk at the same time, I guess. Yeah, oh, you, go, you've you never boxed ball. drunk. You hit that thing as hard as you can. You don't have to worry about hitting anything. Just make sure it goes down the field, maybe hit it in the hole. Yeah, there's, like, I mean, there's even like there's a co- sense of competition to it, but even that doesn't matter. Like there's no real stress to it. But then on the opposite end of the spectrum, like highly competitive golf is the most technical thing. And I have no idea how they are able to perfect like getting little backspins, getting it on the green perfectly, just like feet away from the pin. What like actually watching competitive golf now that like I can appreciate it is wild. I'm going to put it into the most simple terms possible so that people can vote. It's it, we got we got punch out versus miniature golf. Oh, come on. That's not because. So here's the thing, like playing miniature golf, at, at like five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was like, oh, I think I really like golf. And then I like got a set of kids clubs from like my 11th birthday or whatever. And then I, I did a little bit of golf all the way into like freshman year of high school. And as soon as I started like becoming a teenager and developing like political views and stuff, golf was one of the very first things where I was like, oh, I think I'm only pretending to like this. Uh, and I dropped out of that pretty quick. Golf courses are awful. We should get rid of all of them, except mini golf, obviously. Uh, golf is the oldest and richest, whitest man sport, except for Tiger Woods, obviously. But he's an old, rich guy anyway. Um, I'm going to vote boxing. Boxing goes back centuries. It's it's can, the sport of kings. Can I tell you guys, real, before we finish up voting on this, I want to tell you guys a little story. I, my, Christina's dad was watching golf on the TV the other day, and I was watching it with them and it was the u.s open and this guy who was like pretty far behind in the tournament he was like on the 10th hole or something he hits the ball and the camera falls the ball up in the air but you can like hear him on the mic even though he doesn't have a microphone just like the camera on the side he's just yelling <laughs> he's just like why do i even show come why do i even show up <laughs> uh, that's another thing i'll say about golf it is a fucking nightmare to shoot tv of like yes. following yeah. that ball is the worst thing in the world and then he threw like the he threw the cl- club at the ground. And it was incredible. <laughs> I will admit that sounds pretty fun. Uh, I'm a boxing vote. Where's everyone else? Golf. I'm boxing. Jesse, Colin, are you still here? Yeah, Jesse voted I, golf. I already said I'm golf. Oh, uh, it's it's down. Too. Colin, it's I, uh, you. Uh, I actually boxed for a while, guys. So I'm a boxing vote. There it uh, is. Yes, and now, of, Colin, weird. now you have you have stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, I do, and I was waiting for all of you guys like to talk about your stuff, and uh, I'll talk about boxing next round. Uh, boxing knocks out golf three to two. With a round two punch, bam! Right in the kisser. <laughs> All right, so round two is football versus pro wrestling, soccer versus motorsports, baseball and softball versus tennis, and basketball versus boxing. So pro football, or yeah, well, pro football versus pro wrestling. Go ahead. Same sport. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, football really is to me organized pro wrestling. It's it's scary to me that. As my as I have progressed through my twenties, that everyone around me has started to like these two things. That <laughs> because earlier, everyone's better that is, as a teenager, and that yeah. earlier in life I could count on my friends to not be interested in these things. Uh, Colin, I don't think there's ever going to be a better time than right now in the history of bracket to discuss the XFL. All right, so Vince McMahon, wrestling uh, World uh, Wrestling Entertainment, uh, WWE's owner, decided at one point to start a football league of their own while incorporating wrestling moves and uh, kind of a new style. Uh, I don't think it was going to be more were... violent and concussive football. Well, well it was going to be it was a move set added to yeah yeah yeah, uh, and the field was it was all a little bit different. Like the field, I think, wasn't made out of actual like. Ad- 
Star Trek flag. It was a weird, there's a lot of weird stuff with the XFL. Take a look at it. It's pretty nuts. They did have a guy named He Hate Me, yeah. or He Hate He on his jersey, which was pretty great. They got to choose nicknames put on their jersey, um, which were pretty great. Yeah, that's the um, best part of the XFL. Uh, it was yeah, pretty the football wild. football really cool. Um, it, it was pretty wild, but uh, guess what? When you go up against the NFL, no one is ever going to watch you. Um, inclu- so there was no chance it ever had for survival. And Vince McMahon pumped a lot of money into it. And it was going to be a counterbalance for WWE to focus a lot of money in somewhere else. And what a surprise. It fell apart very fast. The oh, thing is, everything I've it. read about it, I would have watched it. I don't care about it's, it's pro wrestling or football, but I would have watched it. It's basically Blitz. Yeah, uh, that's what I was going to say. The, yeah, the, the video game NFL Blitz, it is actually just a live version of that. Um, But it, it fell apart very, very, very fast yeah. and you've, very bad. You've talked a lot about Vince McMahon. But I want to tell you a little bit about Vince Wilfork, um, who I you were going to say Jesus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I like to tell you a little Might bit about well another the CEO. Same guy. Because let me tell you something. When uh, the Patriots won the AFC game last, year, last oh, season. Oh, my. Please take these headphones out of my head. No, no, no. Uh, you're going to want to hear this. Vince, I'm going to vote pro I wrestling, I guess, because it's maybe the lesser of two evils. <laughs> Vince, Vince Wilfork was driving home. Please, and somebody. There was a car wreck, a burning car on the side of the road. A woman was trapped inside. He got out of his car, lifted the woman out of the burning vehicle out the side of the door, pulled her out. Save lives, side of the road, right after the winning the AFC game, gonna head to the Super Bowl. And then, and then, he and then slammed her. Vince actually uh, sponsors some pizzas at the local grocery store as well. The Invincible Pizza. It's got like t- 10 toppings on it. The Patriots dropped him, I think. Um, but I think I'm going to be a football vote because, man, Vince Wilfrick is way better than Vince McMahon. Uh, I am also a football vote. There we go. Uh, I, I don't I... like the Patriots. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tom Brady, I, my man. vote is for every team except the Patriots. Uh, no, it's Vince, cool, Greg. This, you this, love this Tom Vin, Brady. This Vince Wilfrick guy mm-hmm. was never on a Scooby Doo movie. Name. That's true. John Cena would help Scooby Doo. I'm gonna Google it because there's a really good chance that Vince Wilfrick was absolutely in a Scooby Doo movie. Uh, Jesse, does that make you a pro wrestling vote? I'm a pro wrestling vote. Uh, Colin, why would you two loves. Why, why would you do this to it's me? It's down to you, dog. This is Colin, my final. Now, uh, tomorrow we are drafting for a fantasy league. No, so here's That's the thing. A good point. Just before we came in here to record this, Cullen and I were downstairs. I was watching stuff on my iPad because Cullen was <laughs> flipping between two channels, and one was football and one was wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, Cullen, if this gives you any kind of anchor to to grab onto on your vote at all, you were paying more attention to football than wrestling. I was only because we were going through commercial stuff on the other side. Uh, and my team was getting the shit beat out of them. Um, uh, this is this is legitimately hard for me. Uh, I I. I th- you run I, a fantasy league where you ordered a custom belt. And right, it's a pro, it's like but a it's wrestling a pro belt. wrestling belt. So, like, this is, this is really hard. Right now I had in to my give room, you $20. Yeah, uh, in my room right now, I see two football jerseys and a Triple H hockey jersey. I'm having a problem right now. This is the uh, first match of round two, and we are already over on time. I need People can deal with it. It's a big deal. Uh, I... I, I love my wrestling, but I think I honestly think football would have to go over this. Even you know, no, 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 fuck this pro wrestling. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Are you so close? No, 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 hold it. All right, fuck I, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel betrayed. No, Cullen, if I finally, don't. For the first time in my life, Colin gave pro wrestling a point, and you're gonna back out and say it's football. It's gonna be pro wrestling. And here's the thing. And here, I just think that right now my head's more focused in that. Uh, but uh, now if this is in two weeks, if we were doing this episode in two weeks, it'd be probably an entire different thing so uh sorry football fans uh pro wrestling knocks you out three to two uh soccer versus motorsports uh soccer right the only uh, football uh, left on this yeah i don't i i'm i'm gonna go motorsports i'm gonna go soccer so i motorsports is kind of like a, a coin flip for me because like hey if you combine I, these two you get rocket league the greatest <laughs> exactly that's what i was trying to get at here we got xfl um, rocket league what's baseball plus tennis Someone please show Rocket League to Vince McMahon. <laughs> if you're listening, please, God. Uh, I need votes, Jesse, uh, Dan. I mean, I'll tell you, two really tragic things happened in 2001. Um, one, Whoa. I don't really I need don't to talk about. I don't know if I'm okay where this is going. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. One I don't really need to talk about here, and the other and uh, was birth. the attack on the Twin Towers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Nickelback's How You Remind Me was number one for the longest single. Oh my god. I mean, we just said we don't need to talk about it. All right. I'm Jesse, Motors day on votes, please. Motors um, board. I mean, Jesse, room, room. You and I can just chat for the next half hour. You and I. Hey, I mean, you don't. Hey. I, I no. I so so it's weird because like motorsports are a coin flip for me because like I have like I very specifically don't like NASCAR. <laughs> uh, having having been exposed to it growing up most of my life, I'm I'm very not into NASCAR. But like other motorsports, I'm I'm pretty you know pretty okay with. Uh, and like then there's soccer, race. uh, like wave race. <laughs> And then there's soccer, like, you know, I have, a, I've already established I have a history with soccer, uh, but like of the two, I, I'd probably be more interested in motorsports. So I'm going to vote motorsports. Dan, it's down to you. Oh, God, John brought a wave race and like, Ooh, I know how to push good. all Dan's buttons. This episode. <laughs> John, John's putting a pickle on my pants. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, I'm, I'm pretty sure your girlfriend might kill you if you vote for motorsports I over really, soccer. I really, I know it's wave race is really sweet, but I'm I'm gonna go with soccer. Soccer is fantastic. Uh, yeah, soccer knocks out motorsports three to two. We got baseball and softball versus tennis. Baseball. I'm a tennis vote. Crack of the bat. Baseball. Yep. Is that Macklemore? You can't. <laughs> it was actually a Lonely Island reference, but sorry. Uh, you can't get hot dogs in a tennis stadium. I bet you can. No, nope, they, they don't allow it. They call it low food. I bet you can food. get a pickle there. You, get, you can you get. only, like, they serve gelato there. They serve... Uh, <laughs> oh, sweet! I'm totally going to tennis now. They call Yeah, but John, it, that, that gelato is like $20 a cup. Yeah. 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 They call hot dogs <laughs> the steaks of the poor. <laughs> Whatever, tennis fun to watch, y'all. That ball go back and forth, bop boop, bop boop, bop boop. You don't gotta know the rules. You don't gotta know nothing. Just see that ball go bop boop. Uh, tennis is the only sport that has the word love built into the the system. You can't get a Fenway Frank at a tennis court, though. You can only get that oh, at Fenway Park. True. You can only get one when you watch Poppy hit a homo over the green monster. Oh what? Uh, not not. <laughs> You watch Big Big Poppy. Big, big Poppy. That's you the one that's asked about. No ma. <laughs> no ma. <laughs> John, you, uh, is that four to one? Is John the only tennis vote? No, I'll be I'm a tennis vote. vote. Oh, oh my oh, god. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I already established that it was a tennis vote. The only good thing to happen to me this whole episode. I hate this oh, podcast. Yeah. We got a deuce. This, this is ignorant. Uh, tennis knocks out <laughs> baseball and softball three to two. <laughs> Basketball versus boxing. Basketball. Uh, uh, boxing. Le- Le- LeBron James. You got you got uh, King Hippo. John got... is just making shit up now. John is just being contradictory. John has watched two boxing events. You got King Hippo. You got, yep. um, you got Tiger Afro Cup. Thunder. You got Glass Joe. Yep. Uh, I don't think Floyd Mayweather likes being called King Hippo, John. He can't read it, so it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> God Jesus. damn. Uh-uh. Uh, you got Bear Hugger. He's Canadian. <laughs> John is a boxing yep. vote. Me and Colin are basketball votes. Uh, I'm a boxing vote. Oh, my God. Dan, it's down to you. Oh, d- that's basketball. Thank you. Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Uh, if one of the big four didn't get it into the final four, yeah, that no would kidding. be pretty crazy. Uh, you got that right. ding ding of the bell? Come on, Basketball man. knocks out boxing three to two. John is all about the sound effects. This episode. <laughs> <laughs> I like all, all, all of my interaction with all sports is someone else has it on the TV. I hear the sounds. That's all I pick up is the sounds. While he's uh, eating wings. <laughs> <laughs> We've got we're into the semifinals now, guys, with pro wrestling taking on soccer and tennis versus basketball. So pro wrestling versus soccer. All right, you ready for the hot John take? I'm gonna flip the script on you. Not about sounds. Pro wrestling, you get a belt, that's cooler than a trophy. Pro wrestling vote. Well, no. John. I'm a pro wrestling vote. <laughs> It's not a real sport, John. I'm a pro wrestling vote. It's, I'm a soccer vote. There's uh, it has, who, it's like, a real sport. They have pro wrestling pro. like light bolts. I'm a pro wrestling vote. They have pro right in the title. They right. are professional. professional. Dan, I think our only chance is going to be to try and sway Jesse. Well, I feel like every Sunday and Monday night, Twitter becomes unusable. Yeah. It's because not every, every Sunday night. It's only one Sunday a month. Okay. Yeah, it's one Sunday a month, and it's, it's every Monday night. It seems like it's every fucking and every Monday, Monday night. Dan, like, you say that, but it's that way with. 
Dan, it's that oh, way with shit. every sport. Anytime any sport comes on, Twitter's unusable for me. Soccer, pro wrestling, tennis, basketball, football, don't matter. I don't like any of it. Pro wrestling vote. Boom. Dan, I think we lost because Colin's voting pro wrestling. Jesse hates soccer and John's just being dumb. Wait, but Jesse. No, he hates soccer. There's no way to get around that one. I played soccer as a kid, and uh, I'm a pro wrestling vote. Jesse, uh, which one of these two is more like Blitzball? When, when I Blitzball, who said I liked Blitzball? Uh, oh, fucking hell, when I yeah. was a kid, I also played soccer. Jesse, uh, I, I, we we I played for the Y in my local uh, area, and we got to choose our choose our team names uh, for based on our jerseys, and we had our names on the back of the team names on the back of the jersey. Uh, they were just t-shirts, um, but mm-hmm. my team got the black t-shirt. It was so cool because all the other kids were like these bright colors, and we were like, yep. we're the badass oh, yeah. kids. And uh, and was we had this girl team? on our team that was like, we had this girl that was on our team that was like straight up like, she's a monster. She was so good. Uh, and we named ourselves, this is going to date me a little bit. Our team name was Chris Cross, <laughs> and we wore our jerseys backwards at every game and almost had to set out a game because the YMCA was very angry with us. Uh <laughs> But I'm going to be honest here. I think soccer should go. Oh. Yeah, it should. God. Damn right it should. But I'm going to vote for pro wrestling. Okay, yeah, thank you. I told you. Uh, there's, and, there's and it's no not. And, 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 and here's the thing. If this was football versus soccer, this wouldn't have been an issue. This would you have fools been love Rocket League, which is soccer with cars. Uh, yeah, yeah but, but the cars are the important part there, not the soccer. Jesse, if you vote pro wrestling, I am really going to be upset. I mean, look, I got to stay true to myself. And soccer's had to give me a lot of bad <laughs> <laughs> I, y'all should have seen how happy Jesse was when I took him to Raw. That's Jesse all. just pulled a Big Brother like veto nomination. Yeah. I got to do what's best for my game. Like, <laughs> it's, it's just like I got to be real to me, all right, man. Lock, lock it, it in, Jesse. Jesse. Say I, the words. Pro wrestling has given me a lot of good, good joy oh, in my current life. So I'm a pro wrestling, but I got to do that. You stupid fucking mongoloids. <laughs> This is y'all's fault for voting fucking... Oh, my God. Okay. Why don't you all go eat something fried on a stick, and then we'll uh, talk. Like, how did we knock out football? Uh, <laughs> that's... I agree. Uh, you did wrestling. it! Colin, you're the one that did it! <laughs> and if I thought... Because I thought there would be no chance, and I said, fuck y'all then. Uh, pro wrestling knocks out soccer three to two. Oh, fuck uh, I don't necessarily agree with it, but uh, tennis is <laughs> I'm having up so against much basketball. Fun. Tennis is up against basketball. I'm basketball. a tennis vote because when I was a little kid, oh I played God. basketball. When I was a little kid and I played basketball, I would go, I would be near the near the basket, and the ball would bounce off it and come towards me, and I was afraid it was going to hit me in the head, and I got scared, and my dad yelled at me for not trying to catch the ball. So I'm a tennis vote. You I know hope it does PE. hit you. I'm a basketball vote. You know how you're in PE in school, and a tennis ball ain't going to jam your finger. A basketball will. Yeah. No one ever made me play tennis in school. Wait, wait, can I? Can we turn back the clock and can I get Colin to vote for football if I mention Air Bud? No. No, that's definitely a vote for wrestling at that point. Damn it. Okay. Imagine how cool it would be if a dog went into the wrestling ring. Oh, the dog no. did go into the wrestling ring. Wasn't, that a, recent, no. wasn't no. that a recent movie? Probably. Uh, that's I'm a, Scooby-Doo here, and John Cena. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, here's the thing. Kane sent that dog uh, back. Tennis is boring. All these uh, are boring. Uh, Basketball you're wrong. Is not Basketball boring. is fun as hell, especially during the playoffs. Uh, yeah. What about Wii tennis? Uh, I mean, right? That's rather play a tennis video game than a grandma. basketball. Yeah, video. yeah people yeah, but still care about d- Wii tennis. They're still playing that. Sure. Yeah, right. Uh, on their wheeze. Um, there. Uh, look, look. Basketball just rules. I'm sorry, guys. There's no. There's yeah. no way. Around. I'm gonna. I'm gonna vote basketball, but only because we're playing a very dangerous game now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, I'd rather play a tennis game than a than a basketball game. I gotta vote tennis. God, how is the most dangerous game not on this list? Uh. <laughs> Mario Party is not allowed, okay? Uh, <laughs> basketball knocks out tennis three to two. We got the bronze matchup first with soccer versus tennis. I I'm love both of these. Soccer. Soccer. Tennis. Damn soccer. Uh, there it is. Tennis. Jesse. There it right. is. I appreciate it, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> soccer takes third place while tennis is sitting behind it in that weird spot. Pro wrestling. Uh, that, okay. rich, that rich restroom water. Uh, pro wrestling and basketball are your finals. Okay. All right. I'm We've a had pro wrestling. Fun. I'm a pro wrestling vote. <laughs> <laughs> look, this is going to be hitchy all athletes, over again. The athletes out there in the ring of pro wrestling look way don't, better, way better shape than any baseball this. player or basketball player. That okay, is well, not I'm true at all. With that. You're Excuse seriously. Me. 
I have a pro wrestling move? You're seriously going to tell me that the best sport is pro wrestling? <laughs> you know, this is some bracket <laughs> ass shit. Here's the thing: I can home oh like basketball. Please. I can't get out there in the ring and toss a man. Exactly. That's the problem. It's a prohibitive sport. I'm pro wrestling. Vote, Colin. I met them. I met I, you. Meet Jesse, some of the pro wrestlers, them pro wrestlers. Jesse, right. I'm asking you to take this seriously for I am five taking, minutes. All right, I'm taking no, no, no. it seriously. Colin, Colin and, Jesse, you and I, we rode Hitch all the way. Okay. Okay. You owe Hitch, me for Hitch. Hitch is a fucking. I don't Hitch owe is a you fucking, shit because Hitch is one of my favorite. It's my favorite Will Smith movie. You fucking asshole. <laughs> oh God, I hate Hitch, that. Hey, we so can, much. we can, we can fucking do Hitch. Like we can run that up and down all day. That's we fine. We don't talk about all. past but, seasons. Like, we do not John, but pro wrestling is not John, like, I'm asking you please to help us avoid another situation <laughs> like If you it. think John's going to watch basketball, you are out of your fucking mind. Yeah, I don't, all, all basketball has ever contributed to my current life is me running it at work. It is a job-related thing to me. Pro wrestling actually like makes me happy. Basketball is at. more fun, dude. You can go out. We could go play basketball right now. Yeah, if you want to go sounds play awful. it. Good Lord, that sounds sweet, dude. Me. Just sitting around playing like 21 or horse that rules i don't like horse i always mess it up for everybody i always greg, I, greg when we live together i will play basketball with you i enjoy playing basketball if you, uh, vote, terrible at it. If but, you vote pro wrestling he's not gonna play basketball with you yes he will no i really won't <laughs> trust me this is a That's grudge that will be held we will be the podcast that says pro wrestling is the best sport and That's i don't want that that sounds fun like why do why do people listen to you guys anymore? Like I could I I'm good, I could go into the bedroom right now and I could be like, uh, pro pro, pro wrestling won best sport. And would be like, yeah, no duh. Let me have this one oh, thing, throwing, please. You guys are throwing a temper tantrum over the fact that we have an established system to vote on the best thing, and that system says pro wrestling is the best sport, and you can get over it, you goddamn Jesse, babies. Right. Jesse, that is very clearly a flawed Jesse, system. Jesse, if we're gonna talk about if we're gonna leave out passes, we're gonna talk about this season. Just a few weeks ago, you were on Twitter just like, can't believe Lady Gaga won. I mean, I voted for it like three out of four times, but I'm still not happy about the fact that Lady Gaga won. But the, sy but the system spoke. That's where the system did its job. Oh, yeah. So you support the system? You support the man? I support Bracket. All I'm saying is that the system is in place. Is there? I, I'll pay each of you fifty bucks right now, Greg. Every week, <laughs> whatever there is, I can do. Give us money, and it never happens. Is, if, I lock is it there, in with pro wrestling. Is there anything I can do to sway any of the three of you? I am begging. Uh, I am make, pleading. Make basketball a more cool sport. Uh, yeah. Hey, I, hey, I had listen to uh, go back to the female pop star and learn your real music, and then yeah, we'll talk. Uh, oh, pro wrestling. Oh, pro wrestling with. lock for me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. Sorry, everybody. If, if, if basketball were more fun to me to watch than than pro wrestling, then I would vote for it. Uh, you, oh. what you do is you log into Patreon.com and you go to yeah. your donation manager. And I'm going to tell her about it. Uh, and here you we go, guys. Cancel. Yeah, go ahead and cancel it. The, I I don't blame the you after this one. Best sport. Uh, is pro wrestling uh knocking out basketball three to two so basketball takes a second place soccer will take third and tennis is dirty toilet water <sighs> we gotta do more of these episodes about stuff i don't care about because they're fun i um, mean that's see john was the dan in this i'm gonna episode. come in real quick here john sabotaged uh, the episode just a, just as a heads up i i voted for pro wrestling i love football and pro wrestling there th football should probably have won this bracket i'm just saying that um but no, i didn't vote it for didn't. it so i don't care uh yeah thanks for coming on the show this week dan yeah, it's, hey you know what? it's all right tom brady's on suspended you know we got our victory over there it's it's fine yeah. it's fine we beat dan, we beat already, dan already killed my character in rolling so he can't touch me in our other podcast uh, yeah, we do do another podcast with you <laughs> dumbasses and Janelle. Uh, it's called Rolling. It's our Dungeons and Dragons adventure, which you can find at bracketpodcast.com. You're going to see the rolling banner on the front page alongside this awful episode art for the stupid, bad, whoa, awful whoa, thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, and what you're going to find is a wonderful fantasy fun adventure where we make jokes. We uh, fight rat people of my creation. Um, we, well, not of my creation, but kind of. Um, 
we just have a good time on it. You can find that in iTunes. It's just rolling uh, with an exclamation point. You'll find it. I'm sure. I'm uh, I'm just so t- tuckered after this. <laughs> Janelle's this... going to be so happy to find out about this episode. Oh, I yeah, think we I can, can officially can... retire all wrestling stuff from Bracket from now on. Yeah, okay. Retire because wrestling one stuff. thing made it through. Awesome. Retire so... wrestling stuff. Retire Adventure Time. Retire Adventure Brothers. <laughs> Um, what else? We, let's let's just Dan, retire. We, Dan, we have made a very concentrated effort on this show to d- uh, dial down the Venture Brothers and Adventure Time. Yeah, can I? Can we like rule out uh, We Bear Bears now? Like, I I just, just want to get ahead of that one before you guys get really into that. It does rule. Uh, it probably rules. Yeah. Let's do Best Bear. Okay. Cool. That's a good. That's a good idea. Oh wait, I suggested that like months ago. You got brown bear, black bear. Well, there is also grills. a suggestion page on our bracketpodcast.com. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram as BracketCast. If you like, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or whatever podcast client you do use. Just search for Bracket. And uh, leave us a review uh, telling us like what sport might have actually wanted or your worst sports story. Sure. Yeah, I, or don't. Tell us about Just, a sport injury, like when you get, you get hit. Go ahead. Or, leave Ooh. us a one star. We earned it. That's fine. I have a, I have a sports injury. In, sure, let's hear it. In ninth grade, it was raining, and it was it was gym class, and so we had to play tag indoors, and I was the one that was it, and I was running after a kid, and I tripped and fell, and I'm pretty sure I messed up my ankle for, like, the rest of my life. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I did everything I could, but here we are. Bracket was brought to you this week by Nick Driver, Dane Peterson, Jeff Criswell, Stephen Paul and Tarudi, Brandon, Lindsay, Keiko, Zeppa Wolf, Mitch Albright, Will Kuslaka, Kayla Smith, Anarchy Marie, GX Barnett, Nick Rainey, and Michael Zavala. Thank you, guys. Uh, I know it's been rough going. Hang in there. We're almost done with the season. Uh, and the Tournament of Champions is going to be pretty special. Bye. And this yik, this week's Yik Yak of the Week! <laughs> We took a look at Sacramento, California this week, and uh, we're going to read this one. To the girl from last night who had the same shoes on as me, we took selfies together. I don't know how to reach you, but I want to see you, and your socks are pretty neat too. Hey, Adventure Time rules. I'm confused. Do you think they took selfies, like, but they framed the camera so that also had their shoes in there, or like... Maybe, maybe. We'll never know the answer to that mystery. Nope. That's a really great segment. <laughs> hey. That wasn't as good as it has been, but hey, I, that's the first one I could find that was worth a damn. Well, good night, everybody. <laughs>